All right, guys. I'm here just to do a quick review of the Riddle TV six-in-one jamma switcher. You can see right there. Don't mind the mess on the desk there. Um, this is the one that's been in my cabinet for a long time. This is the one that's been on the market for years. It's a six-in-one switcher. Uh, pretty reasonably priced, you know, under 100 bucks. But the problem with this is you have to do modifications. The negative five volt uh, and the service menus are not connected between each jamma board, so you have to do some wiring with some diodes in it. Whereas uh, the Riddle TV real nice real clean has all the modifications done already additionally this 6 and one for some reason the reason why I'm switching is that the old Nintendo boards and certain older boards don't want to boot on this for some reason works great for my I had a new Mortal Kombat 2 cabinet had all the Mortal Kombat's in there uh, additionally I also had a remote originally but I switched it out uh, dog P on KLOV makes these uh, no modes they're called where you just press and hold both start buttons and that'll switch it from board to board so both uh, nice, this one, uh, Riddle TV is a little higher quality, I believe. This one, I did have a relay that went bad on me. I had to change, but, but again, it's been in my cabinet for years. So I actually just sold this one for 85 bucks with all the modifications done. So you can see on my super gun here, I wired it. So first and second player start buttons were wired together. It's on right now. Show you a little test here. Yeah, this is how I had it switched, set to the last uh, port first. And you press the start button, press and hold it, switches to one, press and hold it again. You see how it's switching between the jammers every time I press and hold the start button. It works fine, and there's no, nothing wrong with it. Again, it's the only reason why I really switched. And besides that, the fact that I have a Riddle TV 8 in 1 switcher in my other cabinet, real high quality stuff, I would recommend picking something up like that. But this would work fine, it just doesn't play the old Nintendo boards. I can't get Buster Bros, it'll actually boot up, but none of the controls work. No matter, I have a couple of these and, and it seems to do the same thing every time. So again, you have to do the modifications and some of the older boards don't work. This one, and no problems at all. You buy this, this is 120 bucks. Um, he makes a high quality product. So if you decide to go with one, you're not gonna go wrong either way. You just gotta do some modifications with this one. But if you can't go wrong with a brittle TV, uh, a little bit more money, but obviously you get what you paid for. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. And thanks for watching.